Let's turn things now to your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Meteorologist Stephen Matrograno is in the Weather Center right now. And Stephen, it certainly felt like summer outside today. It does, guys. Temperatures away from the shoreline was in the 80s. Even Taunton reached 90 this afternoon. So some very warm temperatures away from the shoreline. Of course, we were in the 70s at the beaches. So, you know, when you consider that, it wasn't too bad. But uh, definitely to escape the heat, you wanted to go to the beaches. It was a great day for that. Lots of sunshine and uh, those warm temperatures. That's going to continue, by the way, into our Friday. Looking outside in the capital city of Providence. Things, again, looking quiet this evening. You know, outdoor dinner plans all that stuff is great a walk on the beach radar check no rainfall across our area we will be staying dry for tonight however this time tomorrow this radar may look a little bit different especially away from the coastline but the wider view shows not a whole lot happening across the entire northeast temperatures right now notice where it's cooler along the bay and at the shoreline a lot of 70s popping up uh, in bristol and down towards new bedford and charlestown as well but away from the shoreline it's still feeling like summertime upper 80s in some cases in Burrowville, 86 in Cumberland. So you get the idea. Still very warm and a pleasant evening across the area. Today, by the way, marks the start of the hurricane season, and we are actually watching something uh, down in the Gulf. So we'll be looking at that in just a second. Another warm day, though, ahead for tomorrow. Definitely get outside and enjoy it because this weekend's forecast is not looking all that good, and you'll see that in my seven-day. Satellite and radar things, again, in the clear. We are watching a frontal system that's two hour north. This will sweep on down as we head into Friday and help actually spark off some of those showers and uh, downpours that we could see again tomorrow. So let's time things out. This is the time bar this evening, 7 o'clock. Let's watch this activity. It kind of goes away during the overnight hours, as is typical. And then watch what happens as we go towards the daytime hours of Friday, especially the early afternoon hours, the daytime heating hours. Notice some pop-up showers and storms. Not every community is going to see one, but it does favor away from the shoreline and uh, places uh, inland. Then we turn to a northeast wind, by the way, for Saturday. And that means clouds, drizzle, showers, and, of course, cool temperatures back into the 60s. So, like I said, get outside tomorrow and enjoy it if you can, because we have some big changes on the Way as we head into the weekend and notice this continues for the good part of Saturday. Temperature forecast for tomorrow. In the morning hours, 60s, some 50s around. We go pretty warm again away from the shoreline, back to the 80s in spots, 70s along the shoreline. And then uh, again, we have some big changes on the way as we head into the weekend. So for the rest of this evening, get out, have that dinner outside. Temperatures in the 70s, quiet and dry. That continues right into our Friday, at least for a good part of the day. And then we could see some late day showers and storms again favoring away from the coastline. 40% chance those winds out of the south, keeping the coastal areas a little bit cooler across our area. Here's that seven day forecast for you. And it's not a pretty one, I must say. We've had better times across the area. Uh, look at these temperatures dropping back into the 50s to around 60 for Saturday and Sunday. Some showers around cooler as well with that northeast wind and right now the pattern ahead into next week uh, does look to keep some unsettled weather around of course we'll be tracking this all weekend long so make sure you check back for updates and uh, guys that's all I have back to you guys. All right.